friends. Welcome back to another story. You maybe can guess the theme of today's story. It's getting close to Halloween. My name is Miss B. I am the creator of this YouTube channel and I'm also the founder of Miss B Tutoring. www.missbtutorme.com. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. And in case you don't already know this, lean in and listen to this one important thing. You, my friend, are absolutely perfect, just the way you are. So do not go and change a single thing. Got it? Just be you, because you're perfect. And Miss B loves you like crazy. Okay, so let's get started. This is George, by the way. He loves you too. Today's story is about a, yes, a witch and a broom. And you might have heard this story before. We love to read this at a Halloween time. It's my absolute favorite. So let's get started. I'm gonna put George down. The story is called Room on the Broom by Julia Donaldson and Axel Shepherd. The witch had a cat and a hat that was black and long ginger hair and a braid down her back. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned and I sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly, it blew off her hat. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with a hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely and eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I am a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Oh, over the fields and the forest they flew, the dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed out loud <laughs> and held on to her hat. But away blew the bow from her braid, just like that. lost her hat and her bow. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree with an ear-splitting streak, there flapped a green bird with a bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low, then said, as the witch tied her braid in a bow, I am a bird, as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? <gasps> yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick. And whoosh, they were gone. She's a nice witch to make room for all those friends, isn't she? Uh-oh. O'er the reeds and the rivers they flew, the bird shrieked with glee, and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow, but let go of her wand. <gasps> Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. like to have a broomstick. That would be pretty amazing. Oh, then all of a sudden from out of the pond leaped a dripping wet frog. Can you see him right there? Look how cute he is. With a dripping wet wand, he dropped it politely as the witch, and said with a croak, as the witch dried the wand on a fold of her cloak. I am a frog, as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? <clears throat> yes, cried the witch. So the frog 
bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. O'er the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy. Do you know what happens? Yes, you're right. And the broom snapped in two. Down fell the witch and the cat and the dog and the frog and down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud. The witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. Look at them all falling. No, look at them. Do you know who that's roaring? Who is it? Yes. I'm a dragon as mean as can be and witch with French fries taste delicious to me. No, cried the witch. Flying higher and higher, the dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. That's right. Help, cried the witch. Flying down to the ground, she looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew near with a glint in his eyes and said, Just this once, I'll have witch without fry. Just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of the ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark, and sticky, and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads. It had wings, like a bird. And its terrible voice, when it started to speak, was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched as it strode from the ditch. And it said to the dragon, Buzz off! That's my witch! Hmm? What in the world? Do you know? Do you recognize those little things in that monster? The dragon drew back and he started to shake. Oh, I'm sorry! He sputtered. Oh. I've made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, <laughs> but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh, thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in that dragon's inside. That would mean that the dragon would have eaten her. And then she filled up her cauldron and she said with a grin, find something, everyone throw something in. So the frog found a lily and the cat found a cone and the bird found a twig and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. <gasps> then out rose. Do you know what? A truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a pool for the frog. That's right. Yes, cried the witch. And they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. I wish there was room for me on that broom. How amazing is that? The end. Thank you so much for listening to this week's story. I hope you enjoyed Room on the Broom. It's our absolute favorite. I will see you all next time. I love you like crazy. Bye. Hi, my books with Miss B friends. I have something very important I want you all to know. Please, always remember this. Remember that it is always very, very important to love.
who you are. And don't try to be anybody else. But who you are. Because, in case you didn't know, I'm going to tell you. Are without a doubt in my mind. 